Okay, so we're in. Uh, we're looking at von Mises stresses here. These are quite acceptable, um, and we can animate those results again, so we can see you know how those stresses propagate across that cover during the course of that that one second of operation that we were looking at. So let's go ahead and stop that. Now let's move back over here to fusion and the differential itself. Um, as you can see, if you go ahead and look over at this window, we're looking at a presentation tool here. This is also part of Product Design Suite. Uh, this is Showcase, and Showcase is a presentation tool. Typically, it's used for you know marketing purposes. If I wanted to you know create a, a, a presentation where I wanted to show somebody how you know something is used nominally during the course of you know maybe a toaster, what the toaster is going to look like on a table, or you know anything like that. It also, however, is a great presentation tool. Um, for those of us in engineering, when we have to have those inevitable discussions with people that just don't get it. And they look at, you know, you show them drawings and, you know, they just don't, they don't see it. And the beauty of a tool like Showcase is that we're able to read directly the design data itself. So let me, right now, let's go ahead and open up uh, Inventor. Because the, you know, while we did a lot of this aggregating here in Fusion, the, the differential itself was created uh, in Inventor. So we'll call that model up and I want to show you something because there's, there's a couple of really neat little features here uh, when working with Product Design Suite. Plus it lets me show you the awesome uh, graphics performance of the, uh, the HP uh, laptop that I'm using here. And it really is incredible. Keep, keep in mind, you know, the whole time you've been watching this, I'm doing all of this on a laptop. Just keep telling yourself that because it's absolutely incredible that it performs this well. That is what I'm talking about. Let me get into view here and we will set up our so plain room and watch this, okay? I'm going to turn on all shadows and ground reflections. Watch this. Okay, so there we have our reflection. Here we have all of our shadows. And as you can see, there is no, it's not shutting any of the shading, none of the ambient occlusion, none of the reflections, none of that shuts off. I am able to rotate, manipulate this model in real time. It's absolutely it's stunning. There is no hesitation in my workflow uh, because of the tools that I have available to me here with the iFinity setup and, uh, and the graphics, the, the performance of the graphics card in here. It's just absolutely incredible. So uh, with that, let me, um, let me go in here and there's something we want to do. So you probably can't see it, but uh, Inventor lets us set up representations of a component. Uh, in this case, what we're looking at here is, you know, I can go in and we can look at the master configuration. We can look at a configuration called no section. So this is, you know, essentially with no section set up in the part. Or I could set up a configuration where we're actually slicing away a couple of these components and looking into the innards of this differential, which obviously this is not a differential that you would find in a passenger car. It's built to take the loads, you know, from an F1 engine, which is, you know, about seven or 800 horsepower. Um, so it's a bit different, but functionally it works exactly the same. But the real beauty here is that we can actually go in and set up and let's go down here and watch this. So I have, a, I have a constraint that I've set up and it's a driven constraint. And what this driven constraint is going to allow me to do is actually drive the mechanism through its range of motion. So as you can see there, we can now visually see how the differential functions during its, you know, during its nominal operation. The real beauty here, however, is that when we read this into Showcase, Showcase actually reads in all of the setup from uh, Inventor here. So if we, let me scroll back up here for a second. Let's go back to our assembly view. So we're looking at all these, all of our representations, right? Well, if I come over here and let's, hold on a second, let's go to our shots. And where is it? There we go. Perfect. All right, you ready for this? Watch this. These are all of all our alternatives, which alternatives in Showcase allow us to explore different material options, different configuration options, 
and they're all created automatically. When we read that data in from Inventor, um, they're created automatically from the rep representations that existed in Inventor. So if I go, there's my representation called no section. If I go to section, now we're looking at the model. We're actually looking inside the model. And even better, if we check this out, if we go to our behaviors, let's turn our behaviors on. The constraint that we drove in here, we can actually drive here in showcase as well. So again, you know, it minimizes the amount of work that used to have to be done. You know, these tools previously functioned in their own little environments and there was no, there was no collaboration between the products. Um, they are integrated, the product design suite integrates these to the point now where all of, the, all of these products are able to speak back and forth to one another um, and it, it basically allows us to maximize the use and functionality out of, you know, we do something once and then we're able to distribute that downstream to analysis, to manufacturing, to marketing, to, you know, visualization, to tech manuals. There's, there's really no limit whatsoever. And you couple that with the fact that I, not once today have I had to hit the, the arrow tab, you know, or alt tab where we're switching applications because I was able to have, because of the Ifinity setup here, I'm able to have all of the applications that I use on a daily basis open in each of the windows. The Ifinity setup that I'm using here is actually, uh, I'm only using three monitors right now, but it's actually able to work with up to five monitors. So um, this, is, this is a very impressive uh, set of tools I have here at my disposal.